This is Eric Tolman. Good evening. It is now almost 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in Michigan. And I just wanted to tell you that today has just been a very frustrating day. Today has been very exciting. I told you about it in uh, this afternoon's earlier vlog. But I just wanted to let all of my viewers know, my family and friends, vice versa, that I am experiencing a lot of uh, technical difficulties with my Wi-Fi. It keeps on going out for some reason. I'm not sure if it's the weather related or what's going on, but I do apologize. I've been trying to get my weather vlogs up for the last hour, and uh, saying, giving me a status saying of the three hour delay. So unfortunately, uh, those vlogs will be rescheduled for tomorrow, and I apologize, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. But other than that, today has just been very exciting, and uh, right now I'm just winding down for the night. So, just trying to stay really cool where it's nice and cool. It is scorching hot in southeast Michigan, and it's going to be even hotter tomorrow because the heat indices are going to be in the hundreds, so that's not looking too good. So if you live in Michigan, be prepared to uh, fill up on a lot of fluids, my best suggestion. My best recommendation is to drink a lot of water. Powerade and Gatorade is actually a uh, thing that I would recommend. So uh, stock up on that if you can and just drink up a lot of fluids and keep them handy. And uh, also for the note, um, make sure that you check up on your elderly, your family members, your loved ones. Uh, if you have any animals, any pets, that type of thing, do not leave them outside no longer than a few minutes because of the scorching heat. Um, there's actually uh, some dangers and all of that, and I will detail you with some safety tips um, in the next vlog coming up. So everyone stay cool, everyone continue to keep those fluids handy, and I will have some safety tips on what you should avoid and not to do when the weather is extremely dangerously hot, and what uh, you should do to protect yourself from dangerous weather conditions. Stay tuned for that, and thank you for joining me on Eric autism world blog. We'll see you in the next 45 minutes.